Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing an anti-haul because I've not done one in forever. And yeah, I was just curious as to what makeup is out at the minute. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look over on Trend Mood's Instagram and let you know what I think. But before we jump into it, you guys surely know the drill by now. I'm really trying to hit 700 subscribers before my birthday. So if you're new around here and wanna see a little bit more of me, please consider subscribing because yeah, I would really like to hit 700 subscribers before my birthday. And if you're already subscribed and wanna help me reach that goal, please leave a like, it really, really does help me out. And don't forget to comment because that really helps with YouTube's algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, just comment algorithm. And yeah, with all that being said, let's jump in to the video. So the first thing I'm seeing is Elf. Elf is releasing the new Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. These look so, so cool and genuinely something I would consider getting. They look super, super glossy. They look so nice. They've got some really nice shades as well. I might pick one of these up. I'm going on holiday soon. I might pick one of these up for holiday because that would just, you know, round the pool, just a little bit of a lip balm. Yeah, I, I like these. I might actually pick some of them up. Colourpop is releasing the Lost in Love collection, obviously for Valentine's Day. And there's quite a lot included in this. So there's an eyeshadow palette. There's a metallic gel eyeshadow. There's a lip and cheek balm. There's an ultra, ultra glossy lip and a heart blending sponge. I don't, I haven't ever brought anything from Colourpop just because of like customs and stuff. I never know like what it's gonna cost when it actually gets here. Um, but I would like to try some stuff from Colourpop and that eyeshadow palette looks super, super cute. Um, I've heard that they're um, like, what are they called? The highlighters that like, they're like smushy. I can't think what they're called. Um, I've heard that they're really good anyway. Um, I really, really do like the eyeshadow palette. I don't think I'd pick anything up from here. But, you know, if you've got a lady or a man in your life that, you know, you think would like this little collection, then there you go. Oh, my God. Um, I didn't even realise um, Kim Kardashian is, she's back doing makeup. Um, her brand is called SKKN and yeah her first launch is coming so let's see so she's going to be releasing some soft matte lip colors there should be 10 full coverage velvety matte lipsticks lip liners 15 of those and then a classic matte eyeshadow palette I feel like this is quite a good like range of stuff to come out with for like a first launch kind of thing I don't know if I'd pick anything up. I don't really trust like the Kardashians or the Jenners when it comes to like makeup. I just kind of feel like they just cash grab everything. Um, but this is cute. And if you like the Kardashians, then fair enough. Um, I feel like the shades are nice. It's very Kim-esque. So I feel like it does kind of make sense, but yeah, not something I'm too interested in. So Charlotte Tilbury is releasing some new lipsticks for Valentine's Day. They're gonna be called the Kissing in Pinks and Reds. They're called the Hollywood Beauty Icon Lipsticks. The packaging looks super, super cute, I can't lie. The shades look quite nice as well. There's some reds and some pinks, as it would, obviously. <laughs> I feel like that, that was kind of self-explanatory. They do look nice. I've never tried any Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I think that I, I would try them. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily get anything from this collection just because I don't really like pinks and I'm, I'm, I very rarely wear reds. Um, but these are nice. So yeah, if you're looking for a Valentine's Day present, they are there. Smashbox is coming out with some new Halo Sculpt and Glow Face Palette with vitamin, vitamin E. There's four different palettes. Uh, these look nice. I Do people still buy Smashbox? I'm not interested. I mean, they look quite cute, but yeah, I don't know. I definitely won't be picking them up, but let me know. Do you guys still buy from Smashbox? I don't know. I never hear anyone talking about Smashbox anymore. Ooh, Laneige is bringing out a new lip sleeping mask in cotton candy. Oh my God, stop. No, 
and it's like swirly it's got like the pink and blue swirls and this looks so 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 nice i actually might have to pick that up Dior is releasing some new products too. So Dior is bringing out the Forever Glow Maximizer Highlighter. Cute. And the Forever Glow Star Filter. So is that going to be kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter maybe? It's an illuminating fluid that enhances the complexion and visibly smooths the skin. Both a complexion makeup product and a treatment with a fresh and light texture offers 24 hours of hydration, reveals the natural radiance of bare skin. Cute. That is that is quite nice. I've never tried anything from Dior apart from my Rosy Glow blush, which I absolutely love. And I am tempted to try a few new things from there. Um, so I might give this a go. I don't think I'd buy the highlighters just because I very rarely use like cream or liquid highlighters anyway. But the Illuminizer, the Glow Star Filter, I genuinely might, I might pick that up. Florisis, I think that's how you say it their makeup just looks insane by the way like honestly i love how this looks anything from them to be fair always just looks so so nice but they're bringing out a new nomadic glam collection which is going to have an into the wild palette it's going to have the blooming rouge ultra smooth satin liquid lipstick the flawless jade breathable pressed powder the peony dream cream uh, waterproof sweat proof blush the flawless jade breathable long wear cushion foundation and the oh god i'm not gonna be able to say that am i you wrong <laughs> airbrush tinted pressed powder this looks so 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 cute i love the eyeshadow palette that looks really really nice i really like like the way this collection looks i i do really really like it i don't think i would personally pick it up but it is very very cute especially if you know someone who's like into horses and stuff like that okay let's do two more just so this video is not too long uh tarte is releasing a new uh, maracuja juicy eye and cheek palette well there's two of them there's going to be the peach and pink palette and the red and berry palette I'm not gonna lie, these look hella, hella boring to me. Um, yeah, I, and I feel like, so there's eyeshadows, like there's eyeshadows and then the, I swear the cheek stuff is cream. Yeah, I don't like that. Like the mixture of like the cream and the powder, like eyeshadows and cheek products. Also, it doesn't look like there's a cover to put on the creams either. So that just makes me feel some kind of way because you're obviously going to get like eyeshadow in it and stuff yeah no i'm just not a fan of these <laughs> oh my god how did i not know about this colourpop is releasing a twilight collection oh my god now i feel like you have to do this right because twilight is a lot of people's like one of their favorite films like people love twilight i love twilight i watched all the films when i was at school i loved twilight um okay let's let's see shall we so in the collection there's going to be the twilight eyeshadow palette which i feel like is very on brand for twilight like it's it looks like they've tried to like recreate like the scene that's on the the inside of the palette um you know like when bella and edward are like laying in the grass fields uh so it's nice it's not something i would buy i just don't feel like these tones would look very nice on my eyes there's gonna be lux lip oils in three different shades there's bells team edward and team jacob that's <laughs> it's quite nice um there's going to be the super shock highlighters which is what i was on about earlier that's what they're called so there's going to be super shock highlighters now these highlighters i'm sorry they have got to just pow on the skin you know they've got to give you that that vampire look <laughs> um there's going to be the graphic ink liners and then there's going to be the soul shimmering dry body oil I, I'm not a big fan of like body oils to be honest so not something I would pick up 
I would pick up the lip oils and maybe one of the Super Shop um, highlighters. I I might have to get something, you know. I love Twilight, guys. Like, like genuinely. The body oil as well looks like it's going to give you that, like, diamond, you know, skin. Like, the vampires do in sunlight. I feel like they've done it quite well. The highlighters look very nice as well. Um, the lip oils are really, really cool. I would probably only get the red one, though, because the other two are just not my vibe. Although, actually, on the skin, on the swatch, they look really nice, especially the middle one. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll give these a go, you know. Um, I, I'm not really much of, like, an eyeliner person, so, yeah. I don't know. I might have to pick something up from this collection. Let me know. Was Twilight one of your favourite films when you were growing up? Like, I just, I need to know, guys. I loved Twilight and... I don't even, let's not even start the conversation about Team Edward and Team Jacob, okay? Let's just not. <laughs> anyway, that's everything that I have for you guys today. Let me know, will you be picking any of these products up? And let me know if you want me to try anything, because I don't mind buying a few new things here and there. I am trying to get my makeup collection down though, so I do like nitpick a little bit when I'm buying makeup products now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know if you're picking anything from these collections up. And let me know what makeup is exciting you at the minute because I feel like makeup is a little bit boring at the minute. I can't lie. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really does help me out. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying these videos and it gets new people in watching them. And I'm really trying to hit 700 subscribers. So if you are new around here and you want to see a little bit more of me, please consider subscribing jesus because i'm really trying to hit 700 subscribers before my birthday and if you're not new here and you want to help me out leave a comment leave a like um what comment should we do today if you watch till the end of the video let's see let's pick an emoji guys let's do a diamond let's do diamonds for twilight vampire skin leave a diamond if you watched until the end <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.